Hi, y'all. If you're anything like me here in Kentucky, I'm in Zone 6B. We are expecting a frost next week. And so my projects this week has been to go and make sure I've got everything out of the garden that I can get the seeds or whatever I can harvest and getting it ready for fall. And uh, so anyway, that's what my project's been this week. And today I managed to find it do some research because I had a whole bunch of Chinese yard long red beans that were gorgeous in the summertime. I used what I could. I preserved by freezing a bunch of it since they don't can well. Um, so a lot of them ended up getting overripe to where the seeds started developing. They were too fat and too bulbous and too fibrous in order for me to use them. They, I ended up just being a lazy gardener and neglecting them and they ended up stay in there and I harvested the younger ones as I needed them. At any rate, the end result is this fall I had a whole curtain of dried Chinese yard long red beans. So I ended up harvesting them all to finding out what can I can I shell these and use the beans in them. Kind of like you do kidney beans or scarlet runner beans, which is what I'm also uh, harvesting before this frost comes in. And I did find out and wanted to share with you guys that, yeah, you can take these Chinese yard-long red beans that have gotten overripe and neglected and left in your garden, and you can harvest them, and you can shell them, and use the shelled, pea, shelled beans just like you would cow peas, which is great because I didn't grow any cow peas this year. And if you don't have a lot of space in your garden in order to grow cow peas, like rows and rows of them, but you do have a trellis and you can grow curtains and curtains of Chinese yard long red beans like I did. So here's what I've gotten. I mean, I've gone through a good portion of them, but here's a basket full of these dried, dried up Chinese yard long red beans. They were beautiful in the garden when they were full. It was like a curtain of gorgeous red beans. I'll put a picture in there if I can find one. As I'm showing them, this is what you're getting. So there you have it. You don't have to waste all of those beans. I'm going to be able to get a nice good amount. They're nice and dry, so I can just put them in and glass jar air airtight and store them over the winter and be able to use them that way. Anyway, I wanted to share my discovery with you guys on how you can save all these overripe Chinese yard long beans. Uh, whether you got green the red variety or the green variety, it doesn't really matter. Both of them are the same way. Uh, you could just pop I'm just gonna do this one handed. But there you have it. I mean, each pod's got quite a few beans in them. Quite satisfying going through and popping them all out. But you get quite a bit in just one pod. So, if, even if you don't have acres or don't have a huge garden space, to grow uh, cow peas, but you can tre trellis these yard long beans. You can use these as a substitute for uh, cow peas if you wanted. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click and like and subscribe. Have a good day. Until next time. Bye.